This is the first test run of the X slider for the Snappy printer. As you can see, it's uh, mostly just a V slot here with uh, going along the entire thing on both sides. And a uh, little stepper motor here in the uh, center position that's uh, latched down. The only screws here really are uh, those here holding the uh, stepper in place and the uh, bearing bone gear in place. There are a couple other screws that are uh, in there in this uh, particular version because I haven't got the joiners quite tight enough to do it without them yet. Yeah, I might be able to get them out, but it's nice and uh, tight for this particular test. The roller, the slider uh, part, is uh, has a herringbone rack that uh, goes along the entire uh, bottom of it and uh, eight rollers. I've sanded them down slightly so that uh, they're smooth on the uh, top and bottom. And uh, running the back and forth in the rail has smoothed out the uh, front surface or the edged bevel surfaces that are going in the groove. As well as you can see, the groove is kind of smoothed out there a little bit. A little bit grainy in the video, but it's there. So anyway, I can just slide this right back on there. And... Uh, Get it on the herringbone gear. Get the wires out of the way so they won't get uh, trapped by anything. And we can give this thing a test. Let's try this thing at uh, 100 millimeters a second. Whoop, came off the rack. <laughs> The range of motion of it should be about 185 millimeters. If I tweak things a little bit, I should be able to get up to uh, full 200 millimeters. Uh, among other things, uh, well, all I really need to do is change the uh, length of the rack here that it can access uh, on the bottom there. So if I made these slightly longer, they're 100 millimeters each uh, side to side at the moment. If I make them a little bit longer, it gives a little bit uh, longer range for the uh, motor to grip on for uh, rolling it along. So anyway, let's try this again here. Works pretty well actually. Better than I actually expected for just printed rollers and so on. Well, this is a successful first test. Um, the uh, top here is all open like that because it's actually not designed to be the final print surface. Uh, I'm expecting that we're going to put a glass plate on there for uh, smoothness. Though the alternative is that I could put, I mean, could make that uh, fully flat surface and as the final thing that you do uh, as you're setting up your printer is you print a flat raft across the entire surface to make an absolutely flat print surface. <laughs> I don't know if we'll need to do that or if that's a bad idea in general, but uh, it's an amusing idea at the least. Uh, all the parts here are small enough to actually be printed on this platform as it stands right now. Uh, so if you had a glass surface that was exactly this size, put a piece of painter tape on it, you could print this entire piece and all the rest of the pieces for the uh, printer itself. And very little in the way of uh, screws are needed for the entire thing partly because of these uh, little joiner things here on the end that, uh, let's see if I can get a better focus on that. A little uh, groove and slot things that uh, go in there. It uh, works pretty well. It holds together fairly well. I'm uh, playing around with experimenting and putting little uh, catches on the uh, surface or little bumps on the surface to make it latch together better and tighter. We'll see. I'm still tweaking with that. But hopefully when I'm done with all this, it will be an entirely snapped together design with the exception of like mounting the motors and uh, the extruder. Maybe the electronics as well. But other than that, this is a great first test.